Okay, so I have a BoxyCharm premium box here. And let me just say, I did not get charged for this. I don't even know how this happened. And this is the Fenty Beauty exclusive premium box, which I'm pretty sure it was for the month of February, not for the month of March. So I'm like super confused. I didn't get charged for it. I didn't get like a tracking email for this. It just showed up on my doorstep and you know what i'm not even complaining because i really really wanted this so this is what the box looks like pretty pretty nice and then i have four other products that i got from the drugstore that i'm also going to be trying today so let's just get right into the try on portion so i'm going to do my eyebrows off camera and then we will hop into the palette that is in the box Okay, so one of the new products that I have is from Wet n Wild. This is their Lip Treatment and Grapefruit Mint. Um, so, yeah, this is what it looks like. I got this from Walmart a while ago, and it's just been sitting in my drawer waiting for me to try it, and my lips are pretty rough right now. I think a lip treatment is exactly what I need. Comes with the foil over it. it smells pretty good. It feels like Vaseline though. So you can you can see the consistency. But it feels pretty hydrating on the lips, so. Okay, so now that my lips are moisturized and my eyes are prepped, I did not set my eyes down with powder. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that yet, but let's just look at the palette. So this is from Fenty Beauty, which is by Rihanna, and this is the Moroccan Spice Eyeshadow Palette. This is the box. It has the shades on the back, which is really nice. And then it comes in another nice little box. And this is the actual palette, which looks really nice. The packaging does have a nice weight to it. And then the shade names are on the back. So let's just open it up. It does come with a sleeve. These are what the shades look like. Really, really pretty shades. You have some nice warm tones, pop of color with the blue and some really nice shimmer metallic shades that I'm really excited to play with. I'm not seeing a shade in this palette that I can use to set my eyeshadow down, so I'm just going to use a powder really quickly. Okay, so now that my lids are set down with powder, I used my LA Girl Pressed HD powder to set my uh, concealer down. I'm going to take the shade right here, which is called Come and Get It, and use that as my transition shade and just apply it all in the crease very pigmented i do want to say that the mirror on this palette is like really really nice it's nice and clear and it is a nice size as well So now that that's blended out, I'm going to add a little bit of this shade right here, which is like a peachy nude shade, which is called Quicksand. I'm just going to apply that right over that using the same brush. I love how soft that looks. So now that I am done with that, I think I'm going to take this purpley, like, plumish shade right here, which is called Fez Up, or Fees Up, and apply that on the outer corner, again using the same brush. I like the way that looks but i want to add a little bit of this like maroonish reddish shade which is called saffron so i'm going to mix that in with that shade you already know using the same brush i definitely prefer the way this looks over just the uh the plum shade on its own and then i'm going to drag that shade just a tad bit into the crease Okay, so I'm going to cut the crease and then I'll be back to apply the lid shade. Okay. 
Okay, so with the other side of the brush, which is more flat, I think I'm going to take this shade right here, which is called Mara Kush, if I'm not mistaken. It's like a really pretty gold, but it looks like it has a greenish undertone to it. And just apply that to the lid. I'm going to try applying it dry first. Oh wow, that is like butter. Wow, that is super pigmented. It literally just glides on like butter. Like, did you see that? So I'm gonna go back in with that reddish shade, which is called Saffron, and just pat that on over the edges. And then I'm going to take a much smaller brush and take the same red shade and apply it around the crease so it looks a bit more defined. And then I'm going to go back in with my first transition shade, which was come and get it which is this nice little brown shade right here and just go over the crease because I feel like I lost the transition shade a bit and then this is a clean brush as well And then for brow bone highlight, I think I'm going to take the shade called Mirage, which is the shade right here. It has like a nice rose gold undertone to it. So hopefully it looks nice. I don't know, maybe because this brush isn't super dense. I'm going to try using my finger, maybe that'll work. Okay. I mean, that did work a bit better. So I'm going to do wing liner, mascara, falsies off camera, and then I'll be back with the new next product I have to try. Okay, so... I did some of the eye stuff. I did foundation, primer, moisturizer, concealer, and a cream contoured. So the next product from the BoxyCharm box is the Fenty Beauty Match Stick. It's a shimmer skin stick in the shade Unicorn. And what I plan on using this for is a blush because I am... I'll use it as a cream blush and then I'll use a powder blush over it. So this is what it looks like. It is purple. So let's see. Um, I think it's removing product. Let's try applying it to the brush. So I'm going to apply it directly onto the brush. Um, this isn't really doing anything. And I am putting quite a bit of product on this brush. And it is a very dense brush. So. It is leaving a little shimmer. I 
I don't know how I feel about this product. Mm. I feel like I have a gray cast on my cheek now. Do you see that? All right, that's enough of that. On to the next product. So I'm going to set everything down and then I will come back. I do have a new blush to try with you. Okay, so for blush, I have a new blush from Wet n Wild in the shade Mellow Wine. Um, I don't know if it's a new shade or if it's new packaging, but it says new and it was new at Walmart. So I picked it up and this is my type of color. It's like a nice mauve. And I'm going to be using the Sonia Kashuk Small Point Blush Brush. And I love this brush for blush. So I'm just going to... Pick some up on the brush. And I did bronze already as well. Okay, now I feel like you could definitely see that purple shimmer stick a lot more. Uh, mm -mm. Mm -mm. So next is Highlight, which I do have a new product from the BoxyCharm box. And this is Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter in the shade Trophy Wife. I know there was like a big rave about this when it first came out. I can't believe I actually have it in my hands right now. Wow, the packaging on this is so pretty. I love the shape and I love the compact. And this is what the highlighter looks like. Really, really gold. I'm not even gonna lie, I'm super nervous about this. <laughs> so I'm gonna take my AOA Studio F19 highlighter brush and just apply. I look crazy right now. I got purple on my cheek and gold above it. <laughs> this is pretty intense. And do you see all the glitter flying around? I guess try to go in with a light hand. This might work better for me when I'm a bit more tan. Holy highlighter. I feel like I look like the freaking Tin Man from The Wizard of Oz. let's finish off these eyes so i'm just gonna take the reddish shade which was called saffron if i'm not mistaken the shade right here and apply it on the lower lash line and smoke it out And then for inner corner highlight, I'm going to take the lightest shade in here, which is pretty icy. It's called Moroccan Ice. And I'm going to use the other side of the brush that I use for my lid and just apply that on the inner corner. It has like a purple pink shift to it, which I don't mind, but just keep that in mind. That is really, really pretty. I'm going to drag it down a little bit to the lower lash line. Next new product is a liner from Hard Candy. This is their Stroke of Gorgeous Long Wear Eyeliner. Um, it says that it's chrome and it has like a soft glide to it. And this is in the shade hot pants and i've also been dying to try this i got this a while ago and it's just been sitting in my collection waiting for me to use it oh this is not pigmented at all i'm gonna try warming it up on the back of my hand this is actually quite dry. It is a really pretty color, but it is super, super dry. I 
So I'm going to do mascara off camera and then set my face down and then we'll come back with lips. Okay, so everything is pretty much done. I did love my lips a bit, but the last three products are all lip products. So first we have the Fenty Beauty Diamond Milk Gloss Balm. And that is what the box looks like. And this is what the gloss looks like. I'm sure you guys all know what it looks like. Next we have the Fenty Beauty Matte Moselle Plush Matte Lipstick in the shade Single, which looks to be like a brownish brick tone nude the packaging on this is super cute yeah so that looks to be like a brick brown type of shade oh that's my type of color yes honey and then i have a lipstick from wet and wild this is their mega last matte lipstick in the shade skinny dipping and look at the packaging super cute and this just looks like that, more of a mauve tone nude. So first, I think I'm going to use the Fenty Matte Bazaar Matte Lipstick and just apply. Wow, that is a lot more like coral than I was expecting. So I'm going to go over that with the Wet n Wild Lipstick because... This is just too much. And then I'm just going to top everything off with the Fenty Gloss Balm. Again, this is in the shade Diamond Milk, which is like a clear whitish with like silver glitter in it, I think. Let me throw some accessories on, get my hair together, and I will be back with my final thoughts. Okay, so let me give you my final thoughts on everything. First off, let me start by saying I love the way that the look came out. Um, I think it's really pretty and soft, and I feel like this is more like spring vibes type of look. So super into it, and yeah. So first things first, the Moroccan... What is this? The Moroccan Spice Eyeshadow Palette. The colors are amazing. They blend it out really nice and easy and flawlessly. The shimmers glide on like butter. I think that is my favorite part about this palette. Um, and everything is just really nice about the palette. Like I have no complaints. Would I personally have bought this if I didn't receive it in BoxyCharm? Probably not. But overall, I think it is a really nice quality palette and definitely worth the splurge if you do intend on splurging on it next is the fenty beauty kilowatt highlighter and trophy wave trying this makes me want to try their other highlighters because the pigment on this is incredible it does come with a nice little mirror which is really nice as well but this is just a bit too gold if i was going to use this i think i'd probably use it as a single eyeshadow instead um it is super gold right now it doesn't look too bad because i pressed it in with a damp sponge but let me just say this is super pigmented a little bit goes a long way i like tapped my brush in and i had enough pigment for like my entire face so i overall think this is a 10 out of 10 it's just not my favorite shade the fenty beauty shimmer stick in the shade unicorn honestly I have mixed feelings about this at this point it is purple so the only thing i could think of to use this is as blush i could try using this under my foundation and see how that works but as of right now it is not my favorite product in the box it does show through on like over the foundation and i don't really like that like it looks super dewy here which again i have mixed feelings about i feel like as the day progresses is going to look super super oily especially where i applied this because it is such a thick greasy like formula so eh. the fenty beauty matte as well matte lipstick i love the formula it is really easy and glides onto the lips really nicely the color is a bit crazy so i'm definitely going to be mixing this with other shades to tone it down a bit it's a bit too corally for me but overall i think it is 
an okay product. The Fenty Beauty Diamond Milk Gloss Balm. I love this formula. I can already tell you I'm obsessed and I'm probably going to get the rest of these shades. Super good. It's not thick and goopy. It does feel really moisturizing on the lips and it gives your lips a nice little shine if I do say so myself. I am obsessed with this so highly recommend. Also, I did forget to try one product, and that's because I can't try it right now. This is the Fenty Beauty Invisimat Blotting Paper. Um, it does come in this cute little box, and I think this is really useful for me because I am super oily, especially like throughout the day I get super, super oily. So this is what it comes, or this is how it comes. Oh, you stick it in, and then it does come with like any tear, so that's nice. I can't wait to try this because... I'm always using like powder to touch up or a paper towel, which half the time removes my makeup. So I'm kind of happy they included this in the box. Um, so there's that. And then the other stuff that wasn't in my boxy charm, the hard candy gel liner, hard pass. Don't try them. They suck. They're super like dry. Even if you warm it up on the back of your hand, it takes a lot to build up. And even now you can barely see the pink liner the blush i love the blush really pretty color my type of color you guys know i love mauve blushes above all else and maybe peachy one sometimes but mauve is number one for me so super good formula and super affordable and then the lipstick was super super creamy as well and helped tone down the coral look to the fenty one and last but not least the wet and wild lip mask was super hydrating although it feels like vaseline i personally like it it did hydrate my lips throughout my makeup application and i would definitely purchase this again if i can or if they have different like scents flavors whatever you want to call it and that brings this video to an end i hope you guys enjoyed if you did drop a thumbs up comment down below what you guys thought about everything i received in my box or if you guys got this box what did you get what did you think and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button we are almost at 500 subscribers you guys know once we reach 500 there will be another giveaway i'm not sure what i'm including in the giveaway just yet but make sure you hit that subscribe button before you go and i hope you guys have an amazing day or night wherever you are and i'll see you in my next video bye